Superstar Dolph Ziggler, and you're watching Brett O Live. What is going on, guys? Brett Live back here with another video, and today I'm filming a video on all of my customs and fix-ups that I thought of uh, like mainly all of these are fix-ups of like what I thought of what I thought would be cool so without further ado I'm gonna be showing you all these figures and if you don't know what a fix-up is it's like you add your own spin or touch on the figure maybe a head swap maybe an accessory swap or anything like that so without further ado I'm gonna get you, get into showing you all my fix-ups and not really customs but without further ado we're gonna get into it now here we go Okay guys, first figure we're gonna start off with is this Neville Elite figure. Not really sure the particular series on this. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. But what I did with it, everything's the same. I didn't paint anything, I didn't head swap anything. All I did was I grabbed these little things here. As you guys know, um, Neville does have the bicep bicep little bands on his biceps of course and where I got these is the boogeyman elite the re the most recent boogeyman elite uh, I think there's only one boogeyman elite so yeah that boogeyman elite has these on his arms and what I did is I just took them off threw them on Neville they look freaking great and they fit perfectly so that's why I threw them on there it just looks great man I love this Neville figure and adding that touch just makes it look 10 times better really cool Moving on to another figure, here we have the Entrance Grades Finn Balor. Didn't really do much here, but what I did is, Finn Balor, this Entrance Grades Balor only came with the little cloth uh, piece right here around his waist. But what I did is I grabbed the uh, streamers and the gauntlets and the head headdress from all any basically any other Finn Balor. This is probably the Elite 41 Finn Balor where I got all these parts from. But yeah, I just threw the streamers on there just to add a little extra. I mean, just this was a little boring to me, just like, just that is a little boring so I had to throw the streamers on there and then I threw the headdress on I just think it looks pretty freaking good man really like how that turned out again nothing really much it's just little accessory touches that you can do here is uh, I didn't really intend on doing this fix up for this sin car but what I did is I threw black boots on here and you guys are like wait why'd you get rid of those white boots like there's no point in that uh, I will be showing you soon I'll actually show you right after this but yeah the black boots don't look half bad not gonna lie I would prefer the white boots but they don't look half bad I'm totally fine with it and uh, I'm going to show you why I did that. So I'm going to put him aside right there. And then what I did is I got the entrance greats Bobby Roode. You could do this with any Bobby Roode. You could do this with the Survivor Series Roode or any other Bobby Roode Elite figure. But what I did is I swapped the white boots from this Sin Cara to this Bobby Roode. And it looks freaking great. Again, the Sin Cara doesn't look half bad. I'm totally fine with the black boots. We could put him aside. Because Bobby Roode used to come out with like the white boots back in NXT. I think he still does with his tag team with Chet Gable. I think he still is in a tag team with Gable, which I absolutely despise. I wish I, he was on his on his own fighting for titles, it's like single titles. But yeah, the white boot looked pretty freaking good. And the other thing I did is I grabbed, I think it's the most recent Bobby Roode basic head skin. But dang, dude. That looks literally exactly like Bobby Roode. I want to show you the head scan that was on here on one of my other elites. This is the NXT TakeOver Bobby Roode. There's the head scan that was on this figure just with the true effects. But yeah, not that good in my opinion. But what I did is I threw this basic head scan. I just look, think it looks pretty freaking amazing. Wow. Just to add your extra spin on a figure is just really cool. But yeah, there's the Bobby Roode entrance grates with the fix-up. Next up, we have a pretty recent figure here. We have the Cedric Alexander. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, that's at Brett Alive. You guys will know that I threw the Seth Rollins vest on this Cedric Alexander. As you guys know, Seth Cedric Alexander does come out with, a, according to Enzo Amore, a scuba shirt out to the ring. So yeah, I just think it looks, literally, it's tight like a scuba shirt. It looks like a scuba shirt. It looks awesome, man. Really cool. I just love how this turned out and everything else is all the same. The cruiserweight title, the hands all come with Cedric Alexander Elite 67. But yeah, I just threw that little vest. I just think it looks pretty freaking good. Definitely do that for yourself. I really like it. Of course, this is the um, first ever Seth Rollins Elite that he come out with his um, tights attire, not the shield up attire. But yeah, there's that Cedric Alexander. Moving into Seth Rollins, here we have is... The Seth Cash is in, Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins. What I did is I made, well I didn't make, but somebody else made this shirt. Picked it up from eBay for like five bucks. And basically, yeah, it's just a custom shirt. This is the last shirt that he had 
uh, when he got his knee injury. So I threw it on the gold, one of my favorite attires of Seth Rollins, the gold lines with the black, the pinstripe gold with the black. Really cool. I love this figure. Everything else come with the figure, but it's the shirt, what I did. Again, just picked it up from eBay. I love the shirt right here. It looks really cool. And that is the Seth Cashes In figure right there, man. Really cool. I, what I wish that Mattel did with this Seth Rollins is through this shirt with him, just with the gold lining painted on it. But, of course, they didn't. And they just threw in a title and this briefcase. But, yeah, that's the Seth Cashes In figure. And moving on to one of my favorites in this video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below uh, what your favorite is in this video. Okay. Here we have the Jeff Hardy epic moments from WrestleMania 33. And if you guys can remember, at WrestleMania 33, and even now, Jeff Hardy comes out to the ring with this, like, towel, a long towel, hanging out of the back of his back pocket. So what I did is, this is from a hacksaw, no, this is from Bob Backlund, the uh, Walmart exclusive Bob Backlund elite figure. And what I did is I grabbed a rubber band that you could basically get out of any, um, Elite figure box. So you can get out of any elite figure box. It's always used to hold down the figure in the box. So I just wrapped it around, tied it around the little back there. It looks great, man. Like from the back, it looks a little weird because it's just tied by a rubber band. But if you turn it around and hang it like a little over his leg, oh, just looks awesome. And I love how this turned out, man. I basically just thought of it before I did the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. So yeah, that's a pretty freaking cool idea right there. Moving into, uh, I'm going to do these both at the same time. But here we have. Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. As you guys know, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder always come out to the ring with big sweatshirts, big jackets on. Uh, and they didn't come with these NXT TakeOver Elite figures. They come with uh, championships, which was pretty cool, but they didn't come with the sweatshirt. So what I did is this is the sweatshirt. Well, it's not really a sweatshirt. Uh, I made it into a sweatshirt. This is the uh, shirt from the Aiden English from Elite like the most recent Aiden English Elite figure. And then what I did is I just tucked in the little stream things that were hanging down by his legs. I tucked them into the jacket, and it looks exactly like a sweatshirt. That's what I did for Scott Dawson. Uh, oh, no, Dash Wilder. And then what I did for Scott Dawson is I just grabbed the Elite 60 for Usos jacket. And if you turn it around, then you're going to be like, oh, they, he's not part of the Usos. But if you keep it in the front, looks pretty freaking good. So that's why I did those right there. Looks really cool. I love how it turned out, man. That's really cool. Again, Aiden English jacket with the uh, Jimmy Uso uh, shirt right there. Moving into, uh, we have is, oh, Nicholas Triple H. Dang it. It's fine, though. Okay, move. I just need to find this figure really quick. Where is he, my man? There he is. All right, here we have the SummerSlam uh, Matt Hardy. SummerSlam Matt Hardy right here. V1 attire. This is the first V1 attire that we're getting in Matt Hardy. He came with two cloth t-shirts, this one and this one. And what I did is, again, this is the summer summer, and this is the ringside exclusive WC ECW Matt Hardy figure. And he come with a rubber shirt. I wasn't too fond of it. So I, since this one came with two, he can't be wearing two shirts at the same time. So I threw the other shirt on that one, and it looks pretty freaking cool. There's no, no fix-ups on that, but this is the main fix-up here. Again, the ECW Matt Hardy with the SummerSlam Matt Hardy V1 attire shirt. I just love how it turned out, man. It's really cool, man. Love that. And then moving into one of my, this is my, one of my first, I would say, customs or fix up. I don't even know. But uh, yeah, this is an old Triple H Elite, and a lot of the paint was chipping off all of the decals and everything. So what I decided to do is I got a basic from a garage sale with this wicked looking Triple H head skin. I love that head skin on Triple H, man. That is just so cool, in my opinion. That's such a cool Triple H head skin, in my opinion. And what I did is I just threw it on this body, and then I also threw the basic boots with the logo on this body as well. And it doesn't look half bad. Uh, comment down below what you guys think of it. It doesn't look half bad. All the paint is chipped all of the figure. It's a loose figure, so uh, not the best for playability or posing, but still, I just think it looks pretty freaking cool. Not going to lie, man. I love that head scan. But yeah, pretty cool Triple H right there. Moving into one of my favorite fix-ups in this video is... Another Jeff Hardy uh, right here. This is the WWE Shop exclusive with the Elite 56 Jeff Hardy shirt with the WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack with Edge head scan right there. Thing looks freaking awesome, man. I, what I, the reason I put this shirt on it because the blue matches the blue with the armbands. The red hair matches uh, nothing else on the other, but I just think it looks pretty cool. And what I wanted to do is I bought the Battle Pack just for the head scan. I didn't want that basic to be... A basic man I wanted that head skin to be on an elite body and what that's what I did with this WWE shop exclusive here I just think I think it looks pretty cool comment down below what you guys think 
I think it looks pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. Uh, moving into the last one, and not that major of a fix up here, but if you guys remember, uh, most recent AJ Styles Elite figure come with this shirt. It would have been so cool if it was cloth, but it's not. And this rubber shirt is hard as heck to get on the- Okay guys, I really want to thank you guys so much for watching this video again. This has been all my fix-ups and customs. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to do any of these for your own collection. That would be awesome to know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Brutal Live. Out.